Hi all you wonderful divers out there, welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine. Here we have the new Apex XL4 Osea Regulator, which is the world's first environmentally conscious regulator. Every single part of the Osea has been made to be as responsible as possible. To start with, they're made in Apex Solar Powered Factory here in the UK. I know a lot of people don't think that the UK is particularly sunny, but believe me, in this time of year, it is very sunny. Um, the black plastic parts on the second Second stage, they're made from discarded end of life plastic products like old kettles and toasters and things. They're all broken down and then turned into plastic pellets. Then Apex then uses those plastic pellets to make the XL4 second stage. The colorful parts, on the, on the OSEA, they're made from something that's called bioplastic. That's made using plant-based materials from crops that are purposely grown in poor soils. That's unsuitable for growing other crops like food. So there's no crop displacement making those parts. And whilst those bioplastics are growing, because they're plants, they're absorbing CO2 from the air. So environmentally friendly. Um, Apex have also signed up with Plastic Bank uh, and have committed for every single OSHA regulator that Apex manufactures. Plastic Bank are gonna be collecting five kilos of upstream ocean-bound plastic from coastal communities from around the world. Plastic Bank then repurposes those plastics so that they can get reused and the money that they make from that goes back into nearby communities. The OSEA also uses lead-free brass in the first stage, which isn't just better for the environment, it actually improves the performance of the regulator compared to traditional brass. During the manufacturing process, the CNC machines reuse the coolants that they're using during the milling process, and they even recycle the tiny brass filings to get turned into more brass that can then in turn be turned into more regulators. The shiny chrome plating on the first stage is actually trivalent plating, which provides scratch and corrosion resistance whilst extending the life of the first stage. Trivalent chromium is actually a kinder alternative to traditional chrome plating because it doesn't use chromium trioxide. This is the box that they come in, uh, recycled cardboard, uh, which follows the theme of the Osea, very environmentally friendly or environmentally conscious. Um, it's got this kind of funky wave design on the outside, uh, barcodes on the other side, and, uh, and that's about it for the outside other than yeah, Osea on the front, so you know what you're getting. On the inside, you have some more information about Osea and how environmentally friendly they are. Uh, they've got the five kilo, uh, five kilos collection scheme and all that good stuff. There's one of those QR barcodes. You can scan that and learn more about how environmentally friendly they are. Um, on the inside of the box, pretty traditional. We tend to see this, uh, especially with Apex regulators. We've got the cardboard insert that holds them all in place. Um, you get the two second stages. They're all configured and fitted up to the hoses. The first stage in, uh, in this little section here. Um, and that's all that you get with it. Um, yeah, let, let's get them out and, uh, and try them out. So let's take a closer look at each of the individual component parts. Uh, if we start off with the first stage. So the first stage, yeah, this is based on the DS4. Uh, this is the two high pressure port version. Um, here it is in the DIN configuration. Um, I'll start off with that because you get a little DIN dust cap with it, which is quite nice. It's got a little loop right at the top so you can attach a lanyard onto it and attach it onto the first stage so you can keep it with your regulators. Also has a sneaky hidden feature in that right up at the top you have a spare tank o-ring so that's quite useful most people overlook it um, but that's a nice little feature and the uh, the yoke the a version is just going to be attached on there replacing that uh, that din section um, environmentally sealed as we can see um, all of these colored parts as i said at the beginning these are the bioplastic parts um, so a bit more environmentally responsible but the environmental sealing is a soft membrane that helps to prevent water and contaminants like algae and salt from getting into the moving parts of the first stage while still allowing it to be balanced this is an overbalanced diaphragm first stage so by using surrounding water pressure the deeper down you go it's actually increasing the performance of that first stage so the deeper down you are the more gas it can deliver so if there's two of you breathing from a single um, first stage you have plenty of gas but also 
as like a, a real time um, sort of thing, it just helps reduce the amount of cleaning between dives and all that good stuff. Uh, two high, uh, sorry, two low pressure ports and one high pressure port on either side of the first stage. And you might be able to see it's got a um, uh, sort of a funky wave laser etched design on it, which makes it a little bit different from the, uh, the traditional DS4. Moving on to the hoses, small uh, hose protectors on these, nice and neat, and they're quite bright and colorful instead of just standard black. Again, these are made from that, uh, that bioplastic. Braided hoses, much lighter, uh, more flexible, and actually improve the performance, or sorry, the, uh, the cold water performance of the regulators um, compared to a traditional rubber hose. These are different lengths. Uh, the primary is slightly shorter, or the alternate the octo is slightly longer depending on how you view life um, and then onto the second stage itself so the xl4 second stage very uh, i mean is effectively the same design as the xl4 but it does have the uh, the recycled plastic and those bioplastics another hose protector coming in covering up that metal ferrule that helps to uh, to prevent the hose from kinking in that area um, one nice little feature on this is that on apex hoses you see how we have this um, uh, this nut here. There's a blank section. That's about the width of a, a small cable tie. So if you want to attach a, a small bolt snap onto that, that's basically what that little cutout is for. So you can attach a bolt snap there. On the second stage itself, the front cover is one big solid rigid button. Uh, so press on that to purge. And again, really easy and uh, even with, uh, with cold hands. Second stage itself, really nice and compact compared to a lot of second stages so that has a few benefits um, i'm going to talk about it a little bit more later but having a small second stage of course reduces the weight uh, and just the overall just size of the regulator whether it's on like a stage cylinder or packed away in a bag just makes it a little bit more compact you have one adjustment on this and that's the venturi adjustment um, so this is either on or off and what that does is there's a little um, sort of vein on the inside that redirects airflow inside of the second stage so that if the second stage is about to free flow it redirects it back towards the front towards the uh, the diaphragm to close the valve to prevent it from free flowing to then improve the the breathing quality so that it's not so turbulent in that second stage you can turn it off during the dive and you can flip that on and off it's mainly useful on the octo or if the second stage is coming out of your mouth under the water um, but yeah venturi is a nice uh, nice adjustment on that flexible uh, exhaust T so that's quite a nice feature in that it, it's basically the exhaust T if things are getting thrown around and uh, and you're not paying too much attention the exhaust T quite often gets smashed whereas if it's a flexible material it bounces back uh, and despite its relatively small size these do uh, extend quite far around the side to really propel those bubbles behind your face so they're not in front of your eyes during the dive mouthpiece is the apex comfort bike mouthpiece so you have this little bridge um, over the uh, the top section and it's slightly shorter it's a bit stubbier compared to a lot of um, standard mouthpieces and that helps because you don't have to bite down quite as much with that bridge and the uh, the overall size it kind of sits in your mouth without you having to bite down on it that combined with the small lightweight nature of the second stage really does help to reduce jaw fatigue especially on longer dives and colder dives because if you're clenching your jaw it just ends up aching after a good hour or more dive so having a lightweight comfort bike mouthpiece um, and that second stage they all combine to uh, to really reduce jaw fatigue the octo very much the same also has a uh, comfort bike mouthpiece um, but it's effectively the same design but with a muted yellow color now, looking at the specs of the Oceia, it has a retail price of £729 at the moment for the Stage 3 set, which includes the Octo, which is a pretty fair price considering you're getting a lightweight cold water rated regulator and the overall finish and quality of the regulator. The DIN variant, this one I have in front of me, weighs in at just over 900 grams. I think it's about 905 grams. The yolk is 1,041 grams, so just over a kilo. The breathe quality 
is really good and even it's um it's a nice smooth breathe it is a little bit stiff to open up that valve when you inhale but that's going to help with the cold water performance which is probably why they're set up that way who's the xl4 osea 4 this really is the definition of a great all-rounder regulator i know i say it a lot but the the osea is a compact lightweight and still cold water rated regulator. I mean, the apex recommended uh, temperature range for the Osea is from 55 down to four degrees centigrade. Um, traveling divers, stay at home divers, warm water divers, cold water, beginners, technical divers, I'd recommend the Osea to absolutely all of them. The only downsides that I can pick from it are the lack of breathing adjustment on the second stage and I'm always partial to a five port first stage but they are far from deal breakers in my books. The overall setup, I mean the DS4 alone has been around for a long long time and it works. It's a tried and tested first stage. The XL4 is relatively new but it's very, very popular among all sorts of different divers. Um, so yeah, it is a great combination. But what do you think about the XL4 Osea? Let us know down in the comments below. And if you want to read up more about the Osea and maybe get your hands on one, then click on this link that's just popped up in the corner of the screen here. And the link is gonna be down in the description below as well. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving.